Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In our last video, we have discussed about uh, like tables, list views, form views, how to customize list view and form view, what are views, how to create view, how to update view. Okay. In this video, we will go into more details about tables. We will see how we can create tables, how to configure table, and how to create fields along with some field configurations. Okay. So let's start. This is my service now demonstration instance under system definition you see tables click on it in order to understand this better you must have gone through the last video that is training number four okay now in order to create a new table click on new here you see a new form okay so the very first mandatory field is label provide the label of your table training Friday this is uh, my new table okay as soon as I click outside you will see service now provide automatic name here so this is the actual name of the table which we will use in scripting and all and the same is used in database so next is extend table so you know why we are using extend table option if you want to use field of other table in that case you can add that table here but uh, we don't want at the moment here you see application the current application which is selected that is global so our this table is in this global application so you know about modules right you see these all are the application so under each application we have modules so let's say you are creating this table and it is a part of some application so in that case you need to create a module otherwise no need right so once you have checked on create module you have to provide the name of the application as well so you see all these are applications okay so let's say rain incident application selected so now what will happen we will see here you see columns so what column you want to add in this table we will do it later here you see some basic controls so again I already have discussed all this if you want this to be extensible click on it so that other tables can use this table as a parent table okay live feed if you want to add it into the live feed okay click on it auto numbering yes this is important you know what is auto numbering like we have INC in incident and other tables right so if you want to have auto numbering you can select it so let's say we want to have auto numbering so this is the prefix which is suggested by service now automatically this is the number and this is the digit if you want you can change any of this it is taking this uh, prefix from first three letter of your table let's say you want to create some access control okay i want it then we have application access accessible from we know all these fields we have discussed it already so let's see uh, we want it to be accessible from any of the application okay and we want to give permission to read as well as uh, update okay we don't want them to create or delete fine so, so now we are done with the table definition just uh, click on submit so you see here we have some kind of message so let's go to the tables click on it the list view of tables and and then just short it by updated so you see here this is the table right which we have created let's open this table so if you remember we have added this into uh, incident application right so let's see let's reload this and go to incident application so this is incident application and in this you see here this is our module which we created it's a kind of table right if you click on this it will open that table okay we have not created any field yet but as soon as we created the table you see here total eight fields are generated and these fields are system fields okay whenever you create a new table these fields will be there automatically so what are these fields 
number updated updated by this id you know what is the sys id updates created created by and class so every time every time we create a new table all these out of box system fields will be created for that table okay so let's open this table you know how to open the table directly from list view go to this navigator paste it here then dot list click on it so you see here as of now there is no data and let's add the field this is the personalized thing let's add these fields here so you see here all these eight fields are available but there is no data we have not created any new data yet so now let's create one field in this table so in order to create the field you can click on new table columns as soon as i clicked on new this is the dictionary form so just remember from the last session we discussed what is dictionary so what is dictionary again dictionary is a table which store the information of all the fields okay so first of all we have to provide the type click on this icon it will open a field class table so you see here there are total 53 types it means you can create total 53 types of fields okay so let me create a reference field select it so I am creating a reference field and its name is trainer next option is maximum length so what is the maximum length of this trainer field as you see this is a reference field and in the reference field we are not typing anything right we are just selecting it from another table so you can skip the length here but when you create uh, some text field when you create some string field in that case you have to provide the maximum length so we will create that field as well okay and now you have to provide the reference like this trainer field is referencing to which table let's say we know trainer will be generally in the user table so you have to select this user table there are many user tables okay but you have to select only sys user sys user means this user means the table where information of all the users which are there in the organization is stored then we have this reference qualifier condition so what is the reference qualifier we discussed it uh, orally in the last video you can check in that video but here we have to provide some conditions so let's say i want to show all the users which are active true okay then we need not to have a choice here because this is a reference field here we have to just click here and find the value there is no choice option no none or nothing and we don't want to give any default value because we have to select every time so no need for a default value we want it to be a mandatory okay uh, okay let's not make it read only now click on submit as soon as you clicked on submit you see here we are again back to the table definition but the table columns are increased by one that is nine and you see here trainer is there right that's what we have created okay let's go to this uh, list view so here let's open it in new window you can add the newly created field here I'll just remove these fields okay click on ok so click on this new let's create some records as you remember we already opted for auto numbering so this is the auto numbering okay dra is the prefix and then accordingly the value and it is a reference field if you click on this it is referencing to the user table okay let's say uh, the name of the trainer is carol either submit click on submit or click on save so if you open this if you refresh this list you see one new record here right 
that's what we have created this one so now let's uh, try to create a new field but not from uh, this layout let's create it from the view only so just right click you know what are views how to configure views right go to form layout we discussed all these things in very detailed manner in the last video now you see this is the view okay and here you see one more option create a new field okay so if you want to create a new field directly from here it is also possible whatever you create here it will again go to the dictionary table only but there are many places where you can create a new field i want to add a start date okay this is the name this is the name which i have provided so what type of field you want so as it is a start date i want something related to date right you see two fields here date and date time so let's say we selected date now click on add as soon as you clicked on add it is displayed in the selected box of this view now you can position it according to your will let's say i want to position it uh, below number so just move it okay now we are done i have created a field now you have to click on save as soon as you click on save the form changes will be submitted and the field will be created automatically in the background so it is done click on close you see here below number we have this start date and it is a kind of date field okay this is the calendar you can choose any date like if you want to start the training from 26 click here so let's see more details about this start date field right click on it configure dictionary it will redirect you to the dictionary page of this field so you see here this is the column label which we have provided uh, in the configure view option right and we have provided the type the name will be created automatically okay based on this so now we'll go back click on update now we want to create one more field let's create a basic field with training details okay so now this field we will not create from form layout we have already learned how to create a field from form layout how to create a field from table definition okay now we will go to dictionary table directly so just type in dictionary you see under system definition we have this dictionary click on it here click on new you have to provide name of the table first okay click on table find your table our table name is so you see this is our table select it now what is the type you have to provide the type so let's say we want something like a text box okay or something like string okay yes we have a string field okay click on it provide the label so it is beginning details name is automatically selected so in this case you see maximum length is mandatory but in case of reference field it was not mandatory because in reference field we are not adding any text we are just selecting a value from different table but here you have to provide a proper maximum length so let's say uh, it's a training detail so details can be more right let's say i want to have a 1000 character length and i want it to be a mandatory so it is not a kind of choice it is not a kind of default click on submit so field is created so you can check in dictionary entries as well just short it by updated or created so you see here are you training details this is a column name which is created so if we reload this we will see it somewhere here okay a new field is created in the training friday table that is a complete text okay okay whatever you want in 
1000 characters you can provide so till now we have created a date field we have created a string field we have created a reference field every field has its own attributes and you have to provide that attributes while creation of that field i will now create one more type of field and i will place it just below trainer and that will be a choice field okay choice field means a drop down field okay where you have more than one drop down values so let's try to create the field from here right click on this training field go to configure and you see at the bottom dictionary so here also if you click on this it will redirect you to all the fields of this training table so let's click on it you see here total 12 fields are there we want to create one more let's click on it click on types uh this is the choice let's see what will happen language here also you see this is a choice field right so that's why there is no maximum length okay i have to make it mandatory as it is a choice field you have to provide the choice option so i want a drop down with none okay submit okay so it is created okay you see here you training language so let's open this and we'll open our form as well open this form so you see here the drop down is created just below training details and you see here but there is no value because we have not added a value yet so in that case we have to open the record this is the dictionary record of this training language field so at the bottom you see this related list choice so you have to provide all the choices here click on new here you have to provide the label so let's say english okay value also so label is for display purpose value is to use in scripting or anything it is not dependent if you want to provide any hint means uh, as soon as you hover over it will provide uh, that text so let's leave it uh sequence yes we want it to be at top so let's provide 100 here so let's click on save so there is one choice now okay now if we reload this just reload i think you will see the choice this is english okay so now if you want to create a new choice obviously we have more than one choices uh, so provide that value here let's say in the okay value in the no dependent no hint obviously i want this choice to be active but if you want to inactivate it you can click on it later uh so then choice then we have sequence yes second number let's say 200 click on submit you see two choices are there okay let's reload i'll see two choices now okay uh let me add one more so so now we will not click on new i will show you a different approach open one of the record so this is one of the existing choice okay So from so from here also we can create a new choice value. How to do so? If you click on insert and stay, if you click on insert or insert and stay, it will create a new value. But we don't want that new value to be the same, right? So let's make some changes here. Let's say uh, Punjabi, Punjabi at third place. So we are done with the value changes now. So now you can click on insert so you see the message if you click on it create a copy of current record with any modified values so what values i have modified i have modified the label value and 300 that is the sequence so as soon as i click on insert it will create a new record in the choice only okay so let's click on it now we have three choices created this is the latest one punjabi okay so in this way you can expedite your creation process so this is also like a developer thing but you have to know this so that's why i told you so now let's reload you see here all the three let's 
see this save so from here also you can uh, let me refresh this list so it has only one value okay one record so that insert thing you can do it here as well okay so you need not to make any change in the number because it is automatically generated you just have to provide the values in the other okay so let's say uh, the next training will be by different user will select a different user that is this Quintin okay Unix training start date let's say it is starting from 30th and it is in English only okay so now right click if you save it will update the existing report that is the same one okay the one which we have here it will update it but if you click on insert it will create a new record okay or you can click on insert and stay in certain state means you will be stayed on this page only so let's click on this now let's click on it so you see here a new record is created and with all the values you have changed the number has changed automatically okay so if you refresh this you will see a new one okay this is the old one this is the one which we have created by in certain state let's open this you see here these are the values which you have added so now let's move this training language here right this configure form layout select the training language uh, move it to below trainer okay click on save the width is also adjusted automatically because we have moved it to a splitted portion okay so this is the training language drop down so we have created these four to five fields you can try to create all the 53 fields and see how all these fields are behaving so this is it for today's video see you in next session bye bye take care